ever since I got pregnant. Blackie is always on my belly somewhere. Hello. Welcome to another reading vlog. Uh, the power has gone out. So that's fun. I just went outside to check that, you know, our place wasn't the only place that had no power and now I'm soaked because it is raining a lot. That's fun. It gave me excuse to get out my candles. I don't know why I, ch I chose now to start the vlog. That is so dumb. But at the end of my last vlog, I mentioned that I was going to start Heartstopper Volume 3. And I read the entire thing last night and it was so good. Just if you're going into it, um, there are trigger warnings for self-harm and eating disorders. So just be wary of that. But now I'm sort of thinking, what am I going to start next? And I'm thinking I'm going to start my reread of Clockwork Princess next because... I've been rereading all of the Shadowhunter books and I took like four months off my rereads but Chain of Gold is coming out next month so I would really like to finish out my reread of the Infernal Devices series considering Chain of Gold follows these characters' children <laughs> so I'm going to do that and then if I have time I'd also like to read the Bane Chronicles and perhaps the relevant stories in Ghost of the Shadow Market because I have like forgotten all about those stories so that's the plan i was gonna read by candlelight but it's honestly not enough light to read by it'll hurt my eyes so i might have to use my phone but then again i don't want to drain my battery because i don't know how long the power is gonna be out for so that's fun isn't that fun luna wow i'm also really upset because now i can't watch married at first sight tonight that is the only show i will turn on my tv for <laughs> But I guess the good thing, oh my god, look at all the water on my glasses. I guess the good thing about the power going out is that I don't have anything to distract me from reading now. I can't just go on the internet and waste my time. I mean, I could on my phone, but don't tell me that. But I'm going to try not to. So, yeah, I'm going to get my annotation supplies because I'm going to be annotating this book. And I'm just going to hang out with the animals and hope the power comes back on soon. So this is still happening outside. So this is what we're dealing with today. <laughs> A lazy day in bed, huh guys? Yes. <laughs> so it's actually Sunday now. Uh, sorry, I've sucked at vlogging. Oh, I should probably close that door because the traffic is really loud. And oh, we just stopped. Never mind. But it's really hot, so I want to keep the air flowing. But yeah, I've sucked at vlogging, so I might continue this vlog on for the next week. I'm not sure. But uh, updates. I've started reading two new books. I've started my reread of Clockwork Princess. I am a whopping 22 pages in. Wow. I've just been feeling really sick. So I've just been lying in bed being a miserable sop. So, really... It's a person with an umbrella. That's very scary. Yeah, you tell him. But anyways, um, the past couple days I taught myself how to play solitaire. I know I didn't know how to play solitaire. And I have just been playing that non-stop on my phone. So last night I was finally like, April, get an audiobook. You can still play solitaire on your phone. You can be listening to something at the same time so you're not completely wasting time. So that's what I did. I started listening to Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Ayesha Saeed. And I'm like a quarter of the way through it already and it's really good. It's very political and it's tackling some important topics. We love to see it, but I'm not that far in so I can't really say much about it. So those are the two books that I've started. I also mentioned a few vlogs ago I was reading a couple of secret books. I can finally share what those are. Now that you all know I'm preggers, I'm reading two pregnancy books. <laughs> so I'm reading Up the Duff by Kaz Cook. This is very dated. Um, this was published in the 90s, I think. Yeah, it was published in 1999 and you can definitely tell there are some <sighs> things that reading it today, it's like, ooh. <laughs> but it's funny. I'm honestly skipping a lot of it because it includes like this fictional diary thing and like I don't need to read some rando's fictional pregnancy diary you know. Like it's just trying too hard to be funny 
it's like calm down but some of it is really funny and it does have some helpful information so it has just like weekly entries and I've just been reading them so I am up to page 160 week 16 because I am 15 weeks pregnant at the moment and then I'm also reading the classic what to expect when you're expecting uh, this is the it's like an Australian and New Zealand edition and I'm up to page 238 this one because I've read up to the fifth month because I'm currently in my fourth month this one again a lot of it you can just skip over and just read the parts that are relevant for you but this is more up to date than up the duff so yeah fun times i also am gonna do a little baby haul because i mentioned in my last vlog oh my god i'm sweating do you see that Ugh, disgusting yeah i mentioned in my last vlog like i didn't know whether to show this stuff or not but i got heaps of comments being like show all the baby stuff so if you don't care, I'll leave a timestamp if you don't want to see baby stuff. So we are going to travel into the library room, which is going to be the library slash nursery. It is currently a mess. It's also been christened the junk room because it's where all the junk goes. Literally, it's just the cupboards are full. That's all the linens and stuff. Really exciting. Wow. Also, this jumpsuit, you can buy it online from my sister's shop. It's amazing. Super comfy and made for pregnant people and not pregnant people too. Anyways, the first thing I want to show you is this freaking amazing pram that we got secondhand for 60 bucks. As you can see, it comes with a bassinet insert, but you can just take that out and it's just like a regular pram for when the baby gets older. This thing is originally around $400 and it's brand new. Like you can tell it's brand new and we got it for 60 bucks what a steal okay and now you might go back into the bedroom i'll just bring all of the clothes and stuff in there because there's nowhere to sit unless i want to sit in the pram okay first i have some hand-me-downs from my sister she gave me this baby carrier which i'm very excited about because i want to be wearing baby 24 7 so i can have my hands free to do stuff she's also going to be giving me more and more things as time goes by she is due to give birth any day now so she's going to have a newborn for the next few months and once th that newborn phase is over and i'm due she can give me more stuff like she's gonna lend me her snuggle me um and a few other things i also really want to show you these girls at work um they're like nine or ten years old they made a pillow for baby look at this isn't that the most adorable thing ever and they also made a little blanket just it's things like this that just make me really love my job really warms my heart okay now moving on to the massive bag of stuff now buying baby clothes can be a little bit tricky when you don't know if it's a boy or a girl a lot of the time i just tried to get gender gender neutral stuff but uh some some of the time like i went um op shopping with my mum and these clothes were so cheap like one two three dollars each so sometimes when they look i hate to say like girly or you know because that's not a thing i just bought them anyway even though i don't know if it's boy or a girl because we're planning on having well we hope to have both eventually anyways so first things first is this little uh vest and you're probably thinking uh don't you live in australia this is ridiculous you don't need this we don't even wear cardigans in winter but baby is going to be half korean and we're going to be spending a lot of time in korea so this is just adorable plus it was like two dollars another thing i got that i just couldn't pass up because it's just too adorable i don't know if my baby will be able to wear it or not but cat tutu okay now moving on to the more like gender neutral stuff i just found this long sleeve shirt with animals on it we have these little pants with clouds on them a little singlet look how small this is <laughs> some more little pants this little onesie that says dad's silly monkey this onesie with rabbits with glasses because necessary we have these pants that have little feet on them we have this little onesie oh my god this one i had to get it says bat girl on it i mean even if it is a boy um you know baby can wear this when all the other clothes are in the wash <laughs> we have some little track pants they're so cute <laughs> i just can't wait to meet baby oh my god these are my favorite 
look at these pants that have dogs all over them like how could i not buy these we have a, another onesie i don't know what these are called i don't know what things are and we have one for when they're a little bit bigger it's a fox then i just have some blankets oh there's more clothes under here we have this shirt that says keeping it real um just a plain little t-shirt this when i saw it i could not leave without it look at this jumper it has sharks all over it it's so cute okay we have more blankies more towels this is a hooded towel so you put this part over their head okay my sister also gave me another carrier but it's just like a fabric and you make a like sling thing what do you call it i don't know i'll figure it out we have some little bamboo face washes um my sister gave me this it's a sleep bag thing um you just put it it's like it's like a sleeping bag but the top is like a shirt some babies find it really comforting we have another blanket we have more towels we have more what are these just cloths blankets i don't know these are all um from my sister you can i guess you can use these for a variety of things like for burping putting the baby on the floor blankets shade cover for the pram i guess you can use these for lots of things then we have some like mus are these muslin cloths you can use them as swaddles okay now we're moving into stuff my mum bought for me well for baby technically this is probably my favorite thing is a newborn onesie and this is perfect because it has the little mittens and also has feet we are having a winter baby so we're gonna have to keep them in like long sleeved uh, onesies probably most of the time so that little baby can stay warm but isn't this just so adorable then we have this one i absolutely love the design it's so gorgeous this one has mittens but doesn't have feet but that is okay because there are things called socks oh then we have a another little blanket that's the same fabric as that then we have a well this is for when baby's gonna be quite big probably like at least one <laughs> yeah 12 months i thought so but it has feathers on it and it's very cute she also bought me just a ton of little singlets we have some bibs these are so cute like look at that we have this little onesie that says best dad ever and it has little animals all over it very adorable we have some more little pants and it says daddy and i agree mummy is the best and that is another 12 month onesie this one is so cute <laughs> oh my gosh like just looking through these just makes me so excited <laughs> look at this tiny tough tradey that's adorable more little pants can't have enough little pants and this one is another onesie it says mom plus dad equals me then this one we're probably going to need to buy a lot of these because um the fabric is so nice and warm but it is a little onesie and i believe the rest is all uh from my sister apart from this book mum bought this book that's called i just couldn't wait to meet you by kate ritchie illustrated by hannah somerville it's such a sweet little book uh yeah it's just really sweet i can't wait to start um baby's little library ah <sighs> i'm emotional all right lastly we just have all um stuff from my sister it's mainly just bibs and socks and stuff. What's with all these my dad rocks? Dad this, dad that. What about mum? Oh, look at has he kidneys on it. Okay, these are all pretty much the same. Just lots and lots of bibs. But there is this Harry Potter one, which is so cool. Oh, I found more pants. <laughs> oh my gosh, and look at these little socks my sister gave me. They have the little grippies on the bottom, but they have elephants on the top. <laughs> oh, so I'm pretty sure that's all the stuff I have for baby so far. My mum actually has a cot that she's bringing up. 
and a bassinet that she's bringing up as well. My mum just finds like all this cheap secondhand stuff and I'm so grateful. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without her because I don't know what I need. I don't know how to get organized. Um, she's gonna come up a little bit um, early before I give birth just to, you know, like set up the nursery and everything. I just, I still can't believe this is happening. <laughs> it's just so, so excited, so grateful. Uh, I'm just so, happy so i need to buy a little chest of drawers to go in that room so i can put all of baby's clothes and everything in there because right now they live in this plastic bag and i'd really like to start organizing that room but it's hard i just don't know where to start i feel like if i had a little dresser i would know where to start because i can put the baby clothes away but anywho oh loony <laughs> Uh, the plan for the rest of today, I think I'm actually in the mood to film today. So I think I'm finally going to get some videos filmed, like my January wrap up, my January book haul, my top books of 2019, maybe a video for our other channel talking all about everything that happened in the first trimester. And I also need to clean the house because Lucas's workers are coming over for a barbecue tonight so I need to clean up a bit but then also tonight before the barbecue I'm going to a sex toy party <laughs> fun it's like a Tupperware party but sexy Oscar what are you doing Oscar's running around like a maniac yeah go check on your brother Good morning, little boy. Are you the cutest little cinnamon roll in the whole world? Look at these little tootsies. You're so cute. Yo, oh, I love you. Do you love sleeping on mommy's pillow? You are so cute. Ah! Hello friends. As per usual, I have sucked at vlogging. So I decided to extend this vlog so it goes for two weeks. It is now the next Friday. Not that much has happened. I've just been working all week. And I finished my audiobook of Yes, No, Maybe So. I forgot to mention that I got it. Uh, oh, I got the ebook from NetGalley. But I listened to the audiobook. And I enjoyed it. I didn't love it though. I didn't really feel the chemistry between the main two characters. And it just seemed like it's a very American book. Like it's made for American readers who understand American politics, which is not me. So I felt a bit out of the loop. But I did appreciate a lot of the things that it stood for, a lot of the things that it discussed, like racism, xenophobia, uh, anti-Semitism. I really appreciated that. It had own voices, uh, Muslim main character and own voices, Jewish main character. So, I mean, it was good, but I just didn't, I didn't love it. It's a very political book, um, which I mean, was fine. I appreciated, you know, the stance that it took because, you know, I agree, <laughs> but it just like wasn't that fun for me. Yeah. So I ended up giving it a 3.5 stars. Sorry, I'm so comfy right now. Ooh, Oscar's bum in my face. But yeah, I have work this afternoon and it's about lunchtime now. So I think I'm going to make myself uh, maybe a toasted sandwich and a juice. I've been loving making juices lately at the moment i'm obsessed with carrot apple and orange juice mm, mix it all together it's so good anyway i haven't read any more of clockwork princess i've been so lazy but i would really like to start a new audiobook but i don't know what to start so i think i might pick something out of my tbr jar and the first thing that 
I pick out that has an audiobook, I guess I'm gonna listen to it. But we'll do that after lunch because I'm so hungry. <laughs> my next audiobook. I really should make a TBR jar just for audiobooks, but for now this is just gonna have to do. <laughs> this is my TBR jar. It is very full, so we're just gonna see what we pick and hope it has an audiobook that I can get. Okay, I picked this one. What does it say? Hello? Oh! Shut Out by Cody Keplinger. That is really random. But, uh, I mean, I guess we can do it, I think. I'm pretty sure it has an audiobook. Let me check Scribd. There is an audiobook on Scribd. Okay. We're doing it. This has been on my TBR for years. So, awesome. I have no idea what it's about. Absolutely no clue. So, it is a seven-hour audiobook. So, I listen to audiobooks on double speed, so it'll only take three and a half hours oh my gosh we love audiobooks hello it is saturday evening i had so many grand plans for today but that all went out the window because every weekend i sort of try to go off my nausea morning sickness medication because it's not like one that i should be on long term or anything um so i didn't take it last night and i was fine this morning and then at around midday i started feeling so sick so i just said screw it and i just took a tablet and the reason why i take it at night is because it makes you really drowsy so i just slept all day and here we are <laughs> but i do have things to update you on i actually finished listening to Shut Out by Cody Keplinger today and it was not great. <laughs> I gave it 2.5 stars. In some instances I can see what it was trying to do. Um, it, it has a lot of talk about double standards between guys and girls and sex which was really cool to see but I couldn't tell like if this was a satire or not because female characters were just it was just constant girl hate constant slut shaming and i just i don't know if cody keplinger did that on purpose or not i don't know it's really weird but anyway this is all about this rivalry between the football team and the soccer team at the school and all of the girlfriends of the guys who are on those teams hate this rivalry they want it to end so they decide to go on a sex strike and they say you know you're not get you're not getting any until this rivalry ends so that's what it's about but you know it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't that good and maybe that's because this is kind of an older book it was published in 2011 but it was just really like frustrating to read at times so yeah i ended up giving this 2.5 stars because i can like i can see what i was trying to do maybe but it didn't really work for me so but hey that's another book that i got read that i wouldn't have gotten read at all if i hadn't have picked out something random from my tbr draft so we're gonna pick out another audiobook because i think i'm going to my sister's house tomorrow her due date was yesterday still no baby um but i was gonna go down and visit and it's an hour drive so i need an audiobook so we're gonna pick something so let's do it try and pick something from the bottom and hope for the best okay what is this one oh my gosh i really do want to read this book but i don't think it has an audiobook <laughs> 
Let me check. No, it doesn't. I picked out Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha and Yarn. I really want to read that book, but it doesn't have an audiobook. Or if it does, it is not accessible to me. So we're going to put that back in and we're going to pick something else. This one. What is this one? <gasps> this is one of the biggest books on my TBR, but it does have an audiobook. It is Victoria. You can't even see that. Um, it is a massive biography all about Queen Victoria. Yikes. Okay, let's see how long this audiobook is. Okay, I can borrow it from my library. It is 18 hours and 17 minutes long. All right, let's do it. Borrow. Might take me forever, but that's fine this is really good it's making me get to books that i wouldn't normally get to like they're books that i would have wanted to read eventually but when would i have gotten to them i don't know anyways i read a little bit more of clockwork princess today and by a little bit more i mean like 10 pages i'm up to chapter two wow and then i slept all day but my goal for the rest of this month there is like 14 days left I want to finish Clockwork Princess. I want to read the Bane Chronicles. I've only ever read the first like four stories in this. And then I want to reread Ghost of the Shadow Market because Chain of Gold comes out on the third. So that's my plan. I was thinking maybe I could just read like a story of each of these a day ish. And then we'll finish that by the end of the month. And then I'll just keep trucking on with this whenever I get the chance to read something physically and then I'll just keep doing what I'm doing with this random audiobook thing which um I'm very happy I'm doing anyway um so it's 6 40 now so Married at First Sight starts in like an hour so I'm gonna watch that and then in the ad breaks I will read Clockwork Princess this is just my life now Blackie's always lying on my belly hey is that good? Thank you so much. You're always protecting baby, huh? So sweet. Oh, my boy. <laughs> I'm a dum dum. So, guess who has big dum dum energy? It's me because Married at First Sight wasn't even on last night. <laughs> So instead, what I did was I watched P.S. I Still Love You on Netflix. And it was good, but the first one is so much better. Like, the first one is a masterpiece. Second one, like, it was, it was, it was, you know, you know? I have high hopes for the third one, though. Any all, it's Sunday. It's, like, 5.30 in the afternoon. I didn't end up going to my sister's house because I just really wasn't feeling well. So again, I slept for a lot of the day. I have been sleeping a lot. Bless you. But I can't help it. I'm just so tired all the time. But anyway, reading update. I decided to split Clockwork Princess into like 14 sections so I can read a section every day until I finish it at the end of the month I used to do I used to read like this all the time but I think it will really help me because breaking it up that way I only have to read like 40 pages a day and that is totally doable because this is a very large book and then I started listening to the audiobook of Victoria this book is huge but it's actually only 500 pages long the last 200 pages from like this piece of paper onwards is all like references the index notes it's 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 nothing exciting so yeah technically this is only 500 pages long and i'm already 50 pages in hello it's actually really good i'm really enjoying it it's very interesting and the way it's written, it's not boring at all. And I'm very excited to keep listening to that. Um, so I've read my section for Clockwork Princess for today. So I want to read a story from the Bane Chronicles. And then if I have time or if I am not tired, I will read a story in Ghost of the Shadow Market. And I'll read those in between watching Married at First Night which is which is on tonight it is yes it is i checked i double checked but that doesn't start for another two hours 
So maybe I'll just read them now. But I'm really hungry now. So I'm going to make some banana on toast. Because I got some bananas I need to eat. And banana on toast is so yummy. And maybe I'll just start reading the Bane Chronicles. Hi. Hi. What's going on? Hello friendlings, it is actually Tuesday. I was meant to end the vlog yesterday, but I was doing split shift and in between shifts I came home and slept the entire time. <laughs> Any hoozle, I'm here to wrap up the vlog over the last, what, two weeks I've been filming this. Sorry if the tripod moves, Blackie's rubbing his face all over it. Yes, you are. Okay, anyways, so over the past three weeks, I think I finished three books and started a number of others. So firstly, I finished Heartstopper Volume 3 by Alice Oseman, which is five stars. Every volume gets five stars. It's just the cutest, most precious thing in the whole world that really makes my heart sore. It's so beautiful. Then I listened to Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed, and I gave that 3.5 stars. Then I listened to Shut Out by Cody Keplinger, which got like 2.5 stars. Still don't know how to feel about this one. It was really weird. And now I'm currently reading Clockwork Princess. I'm on page 43. <laughs> I am supposed to be further than that, but you know, sleep takes priority these days. And then I'm also reading The Bane Chronicles. I've only read one story in here so far and it was better than I remember. I remember it being really boring, but I mean, it was still pretty boring, but it had some really heartbreaking moments and some really funny moments, and I ended up tabbing quite a few things. Again, I'm behind on this, but you know, that's just my life. I have not yet started Ghost of the Shadow Market, but I will. And then I'm listening to this chunker, Victoria the Queen by Julia Baird. I am on page 115 of 500 which i'm very pleased with i'm really enjoying this it reads more like a like fictional story because the author really puts uh like feelings and emotions into it like it wasn't just you know victoria did this victoria did this and then this happened it's like you know victoria felt flutters in her stomach from nerves like it really reads like a narrative which i really like so i've just reached part three which is when albert comes into the picture so very exciting and that is it that's all i've been reading i think <laughs> so that's gonna be it for this vlog i'm sorry it took me so long to post it but i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you soon with a new one goodbye